Hi guys, Gwen Esther here. Today I wanted to go off tangent and talk more about how to get a smaller snatched cinched waist and maintain it. And basically I've been in Korea for 5 years and I have heard several women tell me that I have a kemi hori. Now what is kemi hori? Kemi hori is translated to ant waist. So you're, they're saying that your waist is small as an ant, which is of course impossible, but it's the same thing as saying you have a snatched waist, a cinched waist, a really small waist. I kind of want to share my backstory of how I've got here. I am not skinny. I'm just shy of 5 feet 4 in height. And growing up, basically from high school, of course I had my freshman 15 in college years, but I, but I went back down to my normal weight, which is around 115. I maintained my 115 pounds for a really long time until I got to Korea. Now why has my weight changed? That's because I do work out at the gym. I only eat two meals a day. My work starts at 1 o'clock and ends at 9. So I don't really have time to eat breakfast. I just kind of eat lunch and go to work. And on the days that I work out, I work out on an empty stomach, so I don't eat breakfast. And I love eating pastries. I will eat it after each meal. I love, love, love them with my coffee, of course. My body type is considered slender or fit. And I have an athletic build. As you can see, I have wide shoulders, I have long torso, and I got shorter legs. If I don't work out, yes, my stomach starts bulging out, just like everybody else. But ever since I've incorporated two of these methods, which you can probably see under the title, I have shrunk my waist and I have maintained it even though I don't work out as much as I would like to. So before I talk about stomach vacuums and waist trainer belts, I wanted to kind of share that last year I went back to the gym because I kind of had a pause for a few years and I got a personal trainer and I had him for almost a year which cost me an arm and a leg and he wanted me to do a body profile. What is body profile? It's basically taking pictures of your whole body and your face, of course. He wanted me to lose more weight so that the pictures will come out better. So I went down 202 pounds. As I was thinking more about this body profile, I just felt like it was a waste of money because it would cost me around $400 and I just felt like it wasn't worth it. Like, who am I going to show all these pictures? Like to my grandchildren, hey kids, I used to have this kind of body. Like, I just felt like it was just a waste of money. No offense to anybody who's getting body profile pictures taken. So once my personal training sessions were over, I started training on my own, watching a lot of YouTube videos, and I wanted to get a smaller waist. Now, I have a small waist already. When I measured myself, and I'll show you a picture right here, this is when I was measuring 24 3 quarters inches on my waist. But I didn't really like the way it looked because as I told you before, I have an athletic build. So it looks more boxy than like a cinched waist and that is what I was going for. So this year, I started working a lot on my waist, my glutes, so that I could have the illusion of a smaller waist. I found out about stomach vacuums, and waist training belts. So let me share with you the benefits of stomach vacuums because I know and I've seen comments where when people see people doing stomach vacuums, they just think, wow, that looks really painful or wow, that can't be beneficial for your body. In the art and science of yoga, having a stomach vacuum means that there is generation of heat within the body. This can be especially beneficial for people who are looking to lose weight. As the heat gets built up within the body, all the extra weight melts away and this gives you a flat stomach. This is also considered beneficial for your stomach or gut health. It eliminates any kind of digestive disorders and helps you maintain a smoothly functioning digestive system. 
Drawing in the abdomen may also help improve your lower back stability, according to an April 2013 study in the Journal of Exercise Rehabilitation. As you draw the stomach in, you increase pressure in the abdomen, which contracts and strengthens the transverse abdominis, the deepest ab muscle that's responsible for stabilizing the spine, core, and hips. According to Elizabeth Queen, transverse abdominis, aka TVA muscle, is the deepest layer of abdominal muscles that run between the ribs and the pelvis. It's an extremely important muscle that acts as a stabilizer for the entire low back and core muscles. It is one of the main core stabilizing muscles of the lumbar spine. A weak TVA is often one of the main reasons people may experience low back pain. If you're looking to alleviate lower back pain, adding some specific exercises to strengthen your TVA muscles may be helpful. This inner muscle helps in maintaining your posture and can largely be targeted by controlled deep breathing. In fact, according to a study published in the journal, Archives of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, practicing stomach vacuuming can help to relieve severe back pain, improve posture, and can power up your overall workout regime. So there are many ways to do a stomach vacuum. Personally, I like doing it standing up because it's the most convenient way. And it's better to do it in an empty stomach so that you can suck in as much as you can. So let me show you the three steps you can take to do a proper stomach vacuum. So this is what my waist looks like at the moment. It's still in progress, but working on it. You see the curves. The measurement is 24 inches. First step is to pull in your belly in towards your spine as you inhale all the air. Then exhale all the air out. Third, you're going to pull in your stomach and hold as long as you can. Now, if you're just beginning, you're not going to be able to hold for a long time. But as you keep practicing, you're going to be able to hold longer and longer. So it's recommended that you do two minutes per day and you are consistent at it. For me, I do it in the morning and at nighttime. I actually do it when I'm brushing my teeth and putting on lotion and massaging my face or doing something standing up. Now, I don't go to the gym every single day and I don't work out on my stomach a lot either because I don't want to have six pack. But I do stomach vacuums every single day because when I'm brushing my teeth or putting on my lotion, I am standing up and I just pull in my stomach the whole time. So I'm not doing a proper vacuum, but I'm still pulling in my stomach and brushing my teeth. And I've been consistent at it. And so I've been able to maintain a 24 inch waist. The second thing that I do to trim my waist is to use this waist trainer belt. Now this is from Korea. It's called Ergo Body. And I paid around $30 and I read good reviews. But if you go on Amazon, there's so many different kinds of waist trainer belts for a decent price with good reviews. They say this improves your posture, supports your back, and trims your waist. Now they say you could wear this to work out, but I can't because it's not comfortable. So what I normally do with this belt is I wear them for 30 to an hour before I go to sleep. Now let me show you how I put this on. Let me just show you why this is good. I think it's good to actually have two Velcros. The one is to just do this and second one is to really tighten so it gives you that curve appeal. So let me just show you how this looks. So I shared with you two simple ways how you can get that snatched waist. But stomach vacuums are really good for you, so why don't you just give it a try no matter what. And if you got some kind of value out of this video, please subscribe, leave me a comment, and push that notification button. Bye guys!